Hi, I'm in my bathroom. I might be echoey. Um, I am doing the finalizations of my packing for our trip. Um, in case you didn't know or you weren't aware or you missed that part, my husband and I are going to Italy. We're going to be traveling around um, like Rome, Naples, and the Amalfi Coast. And back again, we'll be gone about nine days or so. We're celebrating our 35th wedding anniversary. So it's getting closer and I wanted to preliminarily pack so that I can kind of make sure that I've got everything I need and nothing else needs to be washed or whatever. So let's see what I'm taking with me and how I'm getting it all into carry on stuff only. First off, this is my away bag. I also have the basically very similar thing in the quince luggage too. I have always taken this with me for most of my trips. I use the other one occasionally. It seems to work just the same. Love that one too. I'll link both of them down below. But this has been the one that I love the most and I love the color. I can't help it. I love the white. I just do. So anyway, the uh, little marks and scrapes just come off easily with any kind of one of those um, like magic eraser kind of things if you have any problems with that. So it's it's been with me so many places. I love it. This is the bigger carry-on. It is amazing. And I've um, learned over the years that our luggage has been lost so many times on so many trips that for the last probably five, seven years, I think we have been doing carry-on only no matter how long the trip is. So I've become pretty darn good at figuring out ways to pare down what I need, mix and match outfits, stick with the color scheme, the whole kind of thing, and then I do a rolling technique. So that's how I get everything to fit. So let's talk about what I'm bringing along and shoving in this. Here we are. Okay, um, I have analyzed 83 times with my lists of different things we're doing, what I wanna bring, etc. I have my travel outfit figured out. It's by my feet behind me. But these are the things that I'm going to then roll up. I do the rolling technique with clothes and put in my, it's a carry-on size. It's the bigger carry-on by a way. It goes over the seat, you know, in the compartment above your seat on a plane. It fits perfectly in every trip we've taken. I love it. Um, but it definitely is a wonderful thing that you don't have to go to baggage claim and worry about your bag being somewhere else. However, you do have to be very mindful of the things that you pack. You need to mix and match. And it makes it easier that way to do it too when you don't have too many outfits to choose from, to be honest. So here's what I've boiled it down to. Okay, um, my hat, have to go with my hat for sure. These are all dresses. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. One of those is also like a beach cover up dress kind of thing for a boating and swimming day. I can throw it over my swimsuit and so forth. So there's those dresses. Um, they can go to dinner, they can you know travel around, whatever they can dress up, dress down. Um, under things right there, PJs. And we have different tops that can mix and match with the bottoms, which is lovely because the bottoms are all the same color. So that works. Um, I have white shorts, white like roll up capri type jean type things. Um, you know, shorter, you know, like ankle length or higher. Um, and a white skirt, like a denim skirt. And then this is my church Duomo outfit because I need to have my shoulders covered and my knees covered. So it is like a long, like a silky, cut on the bias, like a midi skirt kind of a thing, um, and a blue short sleeve top. That'll go well with even comfortable shoes because we'll be walking around a lot that day too. So I think that will work. I have two cardigans. I have a light gray colored, like flyaway cardigan and a navy one that will go with pretty much any of these things if it gets chilly um, because the weather will start off, you know, being kind of chilly in the morning and then into the 80s and then chilly again in the evening. I have two swimsuits and uh, like a Turkish towel that I can use and easily take on the boat or, um, you know, to the beach or whatever. Two uh, pouches that are waterproof, basically splash proof for the different boating and pool days. We have a beach day planned. And then shoes, obviously same type of color, but for different things. These are my Birkenstock, they're heels, or you know, lightly heels, but they're Birks, so they're very comfortable. So if I'm walking up 500 steps and back down again after dinner, I can still kind of wear a heel, but be comfortable. That's for different kind of hiking sort of things. Comfortable, not sure if I'm bringing those. These are the ones that I have the Bionic um, inserts in. Love them, talk about them all the time. They go with everything. They can go with any of those dresses. Again, walking up a thousand steps, I don't think I'll be in heels much. Um, these are Tevas. They are just perfect for hiking, wandering around, 
great support, etc. These will be beach, get wet, go on the boat, flip flops. And these are just nice for flats with my little arch support sticker stuck thing in there, my Valentinos. Not sure if I'm bringing these, it'll probably be either of these because they're flats and very, very comfortable or those. Not sure which, but we'll see what all fits first before we make that decision. And then I have this, um, my, that, you know, that bag I showed you um, in a recent video. So there's that one for all the different travels, shopping, beach, boat, the whole thing that will go flat on the bottom. And so I get to roll all this up and let's see how it fits. Well, there it is. I did it. I got all the clothes in here, including my little towel in the bags and so forth. They're all rolled up there on that side. And then this closes and attaches to compress that down. And then on this side, which will zip closed, I have my shoes are in bags. Um, my bag down here, my hair curler thing, my toiletries, my underwear things. Yeah, that's that. So it will work. It is packed to the brim, but it will work. And now I need to work on packing up my other carry-on thing that goes under the seat in front of me on the plane. All my plane stuff lives. There were a couple things I exchanged and switched around and I did end up taking the heels too. I got those to fit in here, which is great. So um, that basically what you saw is what ended up in here. Then I am packing this. Now this just slides right over the top. No, it slides the hand goes right on top of the handle. The handle goes through here and it sits on top beautifully. And this is how I go through the airport and it's absolutely fantastic. So I love this bag. It fits so much. And this is all the stuff that I'm bringing in this guy. So here are all the items that I will be putting in my bag that goes under the seat in front of me. And this just slides right on top of my rolling carry-on bag from Away. This is also from Away, I love it. So everything will be going in there. And this is what I have. This is my travel purse, my handbag that I use for travel all the time. It's just safe, secure, easy. I'm not, you know, showing my designer stuff or anything. Whenever I go traveling, I really don't like bringing a lot of designer things. I do have this pouch in here though, my pochette, um, for like to just grab this to take to dinners, things like that. that are, it's what's nicer, I'm not taking this. And I also have my mini pochette in here for just various items. But this will be my handbag while I'm traveling around. I have a water bottle that I will take empty through security and then fill up using the, um, you know, the filtered water thing. And then I can also fill it up and take it wherever we travel around once we're doing our travels in Italy. And then at the grocery store, I grabbed this because we're gonna be seeing Luke Bryan in concert um, October 5th, I believe. So I thought I'd grab that and read about him a little bit more. And then I've got my Kindle for books to read. This is my TSA approved liquids thing. You can fit so much more in this than you can a quart size bag. Um, and it's TSA approved and I love it. So there's that, I have that in this bag so I can easily take it out if they ask me to. But with TSA approval, I don't know, have you ever been asked to do that since then? I haven't, but I always have it ready to take out if they need me to. This is just another container that has things like my medications, um, some tissues, just random things like that in there that I like to have on the flight with me. Um, this is my just charge cords and things in my bedside table um, fold down thing will go in here. I just still need to use that tonight. This is my my eye covers, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, what's that called? Eye covers, you know, that covers your eyes. That thing, you know what I'm saying. I've got these little um, ear things I can put in here. Then over here we have some disinfecting wipes and some masks. And here I have my travel mirror, the lights. Handy, very handy. I have my travel fan. Don't know how necessary that'll be, but it fits, so I'm gonna use it. This is my little tripod thing that clips onto everything, so you can just watch whatever's on your phone or record or whatever. That's very, very handy to have. This is my extra charger for my phone. Big, fluffy, um, Barefoot Dream socks for the plane for sleeping. We're in business class, so we'll be doing that lay flat kind of thing, which is wonderful. Um, but I'm wearing kind of capri type pants, and I know I'm gonna want something on my feet. So there's that. Um, and this is my passport wallet thing. My passport slides right in here. And then I have different cards 
and you know other my global entry card and things like that um, in here so it's an easy little slim basically wallet and all of that will be going into this let's do that Then this is my basically makeup bag. I have my toiletries that you saw, the little the liquids and things like that that you saw in the packing of this. But my makeup, that type of thing, it's all in here. And my biggest trick that works the best for me for any trip is to pack this ahead of time, a day or two. And then when I get ready in the morning, each morning before I leave, I use only what's in this bag and I make sure that it's gonna work for me. I make sure there's nothing missing that way. If I have to reach anywhere else for anything else, I know, oops, I forgot that and I need to add it. So that's how I do this. This is fairly new to me. I have been using this um, trug thing called the uh, trolley. I really, really like it, but this is a little bit smaller and it seems to fit really well in my suitcase in this specific spot. So I am using this lately. I love it, it's a neoprene and it is so much less expensive from this place than it is from the Dagny Dover, which is very much like, this is so similar to that type of a brand. These do unsnap so you can make it bigger, you know, but this perfect size fits right into my suitcase wonderfully. So now let's talk about the makeup items I'm bringing. I did my whole face this morning using everything from here and it's gonna work perfectly for me, everything in here. And I think I might even have more in here than I need. So let's do this. So this is the bag. I love it. It's got this internal pouch here that Velcros out if you don't want it in there. And it also has this interior zip pocket and these little bits. So I love this. It's perfect. These are the things I put in there. I always have a microfiber cloth with me. It can be used for so many things with makeup remover and cleaning your glasses and wiping off your brushes to clean your brushes, that kind of thing. Um, these are uh, little uh, makeup remover wipes, one for each day plus several extra. I have a face powder, um, a Chanel eyeshadow set. Um, this is a makeup forever, oops. This is a like a contour. I use it sort of just to darken spots to make it look like I have more, I've had more sun. It's coming back to me. Uh, this is my favorite cream blush. Love it. Two safety pins, never know when you might need one. This is my Quip toothbrush for travel. My travel razor, I have a clipper, like a nail clipper. Um, uh, flashlight, this is a stick foundation. This is the Hourglass um, Luminous Light in the little travel size. I've got a beauty blender um, tweezer. This is my very favorite lip pencil. It is Dervish by MAC. I have my favorite mascara of the moment. It's my un Graded, upgraded lashes. Um, I've got my favorite discontinued um, brows here. I have three eyeshadow stick colors. This is kind of an amethyst tone. This is more just sort of a taupey brown and this is just sort of like a little highlight color. Those work for just about everything. And then this is an eyeliner. This is also more of a thicker eyeliner. Love those both. This is my correction, like color correcting for under the eyes. And this is my concealer for under the eyes. It's the Chanel one I love so much. 
and this is a little mirror lip gloss I put on first thing in the morning all the time and I have my travel brushes and a um, pencil sharpener and then a few of the swabs and all of that goes in here as you can still see I have tons and tons of room and all I have still to put in there are these things so that just pops right in there and these of course I won't have any basically by the time I get back so that'll be empty in there too let's see it fits perfectly love it so that's what I'm taking with me. That's everything I think that I will need for my nine days. I think I can make anything work given these items. So hopefully I'm right and it'll work out that I've done this several times before and I'm usually fine and usually have things that I bring home that I didn't even wear. So it all fits, it all works just within these two bags. Yay, I'm excited. We have been to Italy before. We did um, all sorts of uh, area above the Amalfi Coast, you know, Rome, Tuscany, Florence, Venice, Sienna, you know, all those kind of places. We've already done a lot of that. Um, absolutely loved it so much. We swore we're definitely coming back. We've got to go back to Italy. And I'm like, we've got to see the Amalfi Coast. So now we only need to go to the like Lake Como area now. So that's still on our list too. But we are doing this. We're excited about it. And um, I can't wait. I'm just very, very thrilled. Thank you so much for joining me as usual. Love you to pieces and appreciate you being there with me. Bye.